I got a really sweet recipe for you guys this week. These are Anzac cookies. They are an iconic Australian cookie. And this episode is inspired by my friend Courtney. Honestly, they are probably the best cookies I've ever made. The most complexity and depth I've tasted in a cookie. And it's just, it's made with oats, coconut, golden syrup. It's so good. I don't want to spoil anything for you guys. I will let her take it away and tell you why these are her favorite cookies growing up. And I hope you will enjoy these cookies as much as I did. Hi, g'day. I'm Courtney. Um, I'm from Australia. And my comfort food are... Anzac cookies, if I could describe what they taste like, it'd be like crunchy, crispy, golden syrup. I don't know, it just tastes like home. We always bake them in Australia around uh, this time of year. We have Anzac to commemorate all those that served in the wars. Growing up, we used to always put a little bit of extra golden syrup and I always loved going to my nana's and we would make the cookie mix in the sink and then um, we used to just get spoons and scoop it right out of the sink and, um, and eat all the dough. Then we'd go camping and we'd sit around the fire and we'd dunk our Anzac biscuits into a warm cup of Milo, which is like a hot chocolate we have here in Australia, and it wouldn't make them as crunchy. It's so good. What makes these cookies so unique is absolutely the golden syrup. It adds a depth of sweetness that sugar or honey alone just doesn't cut. And my dad and I, we have this joke about cooking really simple food and counting love as one of the ingredients. I know it sounds cheesy, but when you think about it, when you're baking and you're using stuff like butter, salt, sugar, egg, flour, and that's it, really what sets it apart is that thought you're putting in it. That's why I always have a special place in my heart for homemade baked goods. And I think these cookies will be the perfect thing to give to somebody you care about. You know, a great way to show them that you thought of them. I don't have my Milo to dunk in right now, so it's not the finishing personal touch that I love. Can't wait to see the video. Hi Courtney, I just made your cookies and oh my God, they're so good. Okay, I don't have Milo, but I made myself a hot chocolate. Well. A mocha with some coffee in it and I cannot wait to try it together. I let it cool for quite a while so it's really really crunchy just the way you like it. Listen here. Do you hear that? Okay. I can't wait. I love dipping my cookies too. Mm. It's so good. Mmm. Okay, like, I was laughing when I was watching your video because you just kept eating the cookies. Usually cookies are, you know, buttery and sweet, which is awesome. But this cookie, the fattiness from the coconut, it adds another layer of, you know, that creaminess that butter itself just doesn't have. And for the butter, I actually ended up using brown butter. So basically, you kind of like caramelize the sugar content. So that adds an extra layer of depth. Um, the oat is an amazing addition. Personally, I love oatmeal cookies. I like that homey, rustic kind of texture that it has. And it's such an interesting combination because oatmeal cookies are usually really chewy and soft. But then you get like the, the sugar coconut combination, which makes the texture so like crunchy and crumbly almost like a really crispy butter cookie yeah the buttery richness of a shortbread cookie but then also that um like oatiness of a oatmeal cookie also has that decadence of chocolate chip cookies honestly i have to say these might just be my favorite cookies um oh the golden syrup oh my gosh i was going to sub it for honey but then i figured you know what the way she talked about it, I need to give it a try. So I spent an hour making my own golden syrup and it was so worth it. It kind of reminds me of maple syrup in terms of the level of sweetness, but then more caramelized. Yeah, it's delicious. I'm gonna have a little bit more. Thank you so much for the recipe and I hope I get to see you again soon. Cheers.